I am privileged that my family and I have started a fund with the Edmonton Community Foundation to support legacy giving and endowment for our agency. And I wanted to share a little bit about the reasons why I did this. I was 30 years old, so fairly young, and first learned about what endowment means at that time and really looked into how can I make a difference in the long term? Of course, I donate to charities every year, the ones that have impacted me and my family and those around me. But I really wanted to think about how can I make a difference after I'm gone? And this was one way that was affordable, which a lot of people don't really understand. Um, they think you need to have millions of dollars to put in an endowment uh, to really make an impact. But really, the Edmonton Community Foundation has a system where you can spend up to 10 years raising the minimum $10,000. That's $100 a month for the next 10 years. And I understand not, not a lot of people are able to even afford that. But those who can, who are younger like me, it's an opportunity to, to put aside some money, knowing that in 50, 60, 70, 80 years when you're gone, that money will still be there to support children and youth forever. Why I donated um, and why I started an endowment fund well, I was a little sister growing up in this agency and it's made an impact of, in my life. I lived in poverty growing up. I wasn't born in poverty. I was born to a loving middle-class two-parent family with a younger sister and a grandmother who helped take care of us. But when I was nine years old, my parents separated as parents sometimes do. And for that, and for us, that meant moving from Calgary to Edmonton, leaving my dad, my grandmother, my friends and my teachers behind. As you can imagine, that could be a traumatic experience for any nine-year-old. For me, it was especially hard because I was a shy kid growing up. I had low self-esteem, low self-confidence, and consequently, my grades suffered. The first six months I lived in Edmonton, I had to switch schools three times because I couldn't handle the pressure. Moving to junior high in grade seven a few years later was supposed to be a fresh start. But, for, but in October of that academic year, one month into school, my dad, unexpectedly had a heart attack and passed away. He was 40 years old. And that made my mom truly a single parent, raising two daughters, living in poverty, in capital housing for the city of Edmonton. I remember we used to wake up at 4 a.m. every morning and do a newspaper route with my little sister asleep in the back seat of the car. At the time, my mom told me it was to institute hard work, the hard work ethic in me, but really, I knew it was because we were penny pinching and every penny counted. My mom had the good foresight to enroll my sister and I with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Because of that agency, I had a big sister who I still keep in touch with today, over 20 years later. She made me believe, as a stranger, someone who wasn't related to me, that I mattered. That totally instilled self-confidence in me, self-esteem. Having someone believe in your success, believe in you, and they didn't have to. And they took their time out of their own lives to do that. That's what really inspired me to be the person that I am today. And not only that, the agency not only gave me a wonderful big sister, but gave me opportunities I wouldn't have otherwise received. Like I got a full scholarship through the agency to, for my undergraduate degree in criminology. And I had opportunities to work at different nonprofits in, this, in the sector. And, and the reason I am where I am today full circle back at the agency where I grew up is because I want to help the thousands of children the way I was helped, the way my sister was helped. And one way that anybody can do that, if you have the means and the opportunity, is to start an endowment fund and be part of Children's Circle because it's not just a legacy you will leave, it's forever. When you're gone, there will be the next generation of children and young people who will look back at you and your family and the way that you gave and say the way I'm saying today, that you inspired them to be the best that they can be. Thank you.